Hello, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do another tag today. Uh, I know it's not Tag Tuesday, but I sort of like breaking the rules and uh, posting tags on days that are not Tuesdays. Um, so the tag that I have for you today was created by Olive at a Book Olive in 2019. So it's a little bit of an older tag. It's already basically lived its full life on BookTube and has circulated around um, for a while, but I thought I might resurrect it and do it today. With Nonfiction November just around the corner, we are just three days away from November 1st as of the publication date of this video. And this tag is the Nonfiction on BookTube book tag. So I thought it was very fitting. Um, it looked like a really informal, very chatty, fun book tag. So I thought uh, it, would be, it would be a good one to do um, sort of right here at the start of Nonfiction November. So prompt number one, is how much nonfiction do you read? So I read almost primarily nonfiction. I read probably about 90 to 95 percent nonfiction as of right now. Um, I don't I don't read very much fiction at all. Um, I have read more fiction this year than any previous year, however, um, and that was really through January through um, about May. And June, I, I was reading primarily fiction, and then it pivoted to almost completely uh, nonfiction. Uh, prompt number two is, what kind of nonfiction videos do you make, slash, do you want to make on BookTube? Um, so the majority of the nonfiction book videos that I make on my channel will be either my weekly reading update videos or book haul videos where I'm showing new titles that I have um, either uh, checked out from the library or have purchased for my home library. Um, and I will occasionally do a nonfiction book review. I haven't done as many of those as I would like. So that's definitely the type of nonfiction video that I would like to make more of on my channel is more dedicated reviews of individual titles on my channel. I haven't done very many of those at all. I really even haven't done very many reviews for fiction works. So that is something that I'm hoping to do more of, um, especially in uh, 2023. One of my channel goals is to have a more dedicated uh, reviewing aspect to books instead of just talking about them in weekly wrap-ups or just showing them in book hauls um, or even just talking about them after completing them but having a full video review for, for a majority of the titles I read. Not for all of them, but for those that deserve a review. I want to do a better job of giving them the full length quality video review that they deserve. And so um, that would fall into the category of what I would want, what I want to make and what I hope to make, especially um, I want to make it a priority next year. Uh, prompt number three is what's your favorite subgenre of nonfiction? Uh, my favorite subgenre of nonfiction would be biography, um, but also anything historical nonfiction. It doesn't have to be limited just to biography. However, I do tend to spend most of my nonfiction reading time within the subgenre of biography. Uh, prompt number, uh, let's see, prompt number five, or I'm sorry, prompt number four is, do you have a favorite nonfiction book? Uh, when I read over the prompts for this tag, I knew immediately that I would not have an appropriate answer for prompt number four. And I thought about it for a while, and I don't have a favorite nonfiction book, and I have favorites, but I don't have a singular favorite. I don't think I can bake it down that far. And that's just because I tend to read widely enough in nonfiction that I read a lot of different subjects. I read about a lot of different people, about a lot of different types uh, of people and different historical figures. Uh, and so I can't really nail down um, a, a favorite. And I hate to, I hate to, to flake out on a question, uh, but on this one, I, I don't have an answer for uh, prompt number five is, what do you think keeps people from wanting to read more nonfiction? All I can figure is that nonfiction has sort of, it's sort of grown into this very daunting thing for a lot of people, and it, it's sort of falsely associated with dull books or boring books or off-putting books. Uh, and as, so I think a lot of people sort of, they know that that's not true, they 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 have this, this feeling like it's not all boring, uh, but they, they can't get over that hurdle um, to actually discovering that it's, in fact, quite
quite the opposite of all the labels that it has been attributed. Uh, prompt number six is, why do you like nonfiction? I like nonfiction because one of the primary reasons I read is to learn and to grow as a person and to learn from other people's lives and other people's knowledge. And so I find particularly biography within the within the genre of nonfiction to be a fantastic place for being able to learn from other people's lives, uh, being able to walk in other people's shoes, see the world from multiple different perspectives. Um, nonfiction as a whole obviously is fantastic for that, uh, but for me, biography is the sort of the, the subgenre of nonfiction that I have really planted myself in, and really I don't see myself ever not loving biographies. Uh, prompt number seven is, what's a nonfiction book you read because of BookTube? So for me, a lot of the nonfiction books that I have read, particularly in the year, um, in this year and last year, were because of, of BookTube. Uh, but the, the last book that I read that was a direct recommendation was uh, Jay Winnick's The Great Upheaval. And that one I uh, found out about through one of Steve Donahue's uh, starter kit videos. And I believe it was called Fourth of July Starter Kit. And it was from a handful of years, uh, a handful of years ago, and I um, sort of I, I wrote down a list of all of the books that he recommended in that video, and then I went through and bought them all on Thrift Books, and uh, the Great Upheaval was the the main one out of that list that really stuck with me the most, and um, that that I would probably consider one of the best nonfiction reads of of this year for me. Uh, prompt number eight is what's the best nonfiction book you've read lately? Um, and I'm going to have to go with Victoria the Queen by Julia Baird. I read this one in October. Um, I was trying to read some more uh, Queen Victoria biographies and uh, Victorian history during uh, October. And this was a fantastic biography of Queen Victoria. It's the third biography that I have read on her, so I haven't read a whole lot about her. But Julia Baird's writing style was just so enjoyable. It was incredibly elegant. And her handling of the subject matter was was beyond uh, it was beyond masterful, and she has such an expertise uh, and such a uh, such a command of her subject that it really shines through. Uh, prompt number nine is: What are some of your nonfiction reading goals? Uh, so for me, one of the big goals that I'm currently working towards completing is reading a biography of every U.S. president. I have read about fourteen or fifteen. Uh, uh, read biographies of about 14 or 15 different presidents. Um, so I've just barely started to, to pick away at the giant iceberg that is presidential biographies. Um, so my hope is that maybe sometime mid-2023, I will have accomplished um, that goal. We will see how that goes. Um, prompt number 10 is, what's your advice for incorporating more nonfiction into your reading diet? Um, I would say that if you're someone who is daunted by nonfiction or doesn't naturally have a, um, have a leaning towards nonfiction, it would be pick nonfiction titles that uh, coincide with the fiction that you are reading. Uh, pick up a biography of your favorite author. Uh, get a, a book of, uh, of history on the time period of whatever book you are reading. Try to incorporate the nonfiction into your fiction reading, and that will make it much more appealing. And I think that by sort of having the real-life look at events that maybe are fictionalized in either historical fiction or just uh, fiction in general or reading about a time period um, that a classic novel takes place in, it really helps to make an even more relatable reading experience when you read the novel or when you read a um, other works by the author that you've recently read their biography. And it just makes everything seem much, much bigger. And in my opinion, it really enriches the reading experience. Um, prompt uh, number 11, which is also a bonus, is, and this is the final prompt, is give some recommendations for nonfiction booktube channels that you love. Um, and so there are a lot of nonfiction uh, booktube channels that I love, and they're not all purely uh, nonfiction, but I, I have just pulled three channels. They're really three of my most watched for nonfiction. And the first is Steve Donahue, which I feel like if you are a reader and if you're on BookTube, you watch all you watch so many of Steve's videos. He is prolific in the uh, content that he puts out on his channel, and he reads absolutely everything. 
uh, but particularly I have used his resources for nonfiction. He has so much up on his channel for nonfiction. Starter kits for every historical period, for every um, for every topic, every subgenre that you could ever think of, he has something up, up on his channel, which is incredibly, incredibly helpful when trying to figure out uh, where to start in on a particular topic. Uh, and then Peg at the History Shelf, she has some fantastic content over on her channel. Uh, she does a lot of uh, book hauls and a lot of um, really big scale reading wrap ups and has some very great lists as well. Um, and then Bill Rutenberg at the Rutenberg Library. I love watching his, his videos. He reads so much uh, and he comes away with some really great insights uh, on the books that he reads. So I would highly recommend checking him out as well. Um, check all these channels out. I will link them down in the description below. Um, you will not regret it. And that is the end of the nonfiction on BookTube book tag. Uh, because this tag is a little bit older and it's already circulated on BookTube, I'm not going to tag anyone uh, specifically. However, if you have not done this tag yet and you would like to do so, please consider yourself tagged. Um, it would be fun to see this tag sort of have a second life on BookTube. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if you would like, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.